Hello friends, in our last video we had started with Gulliver's travels and we have completed first part, first journey of Gulliver and that is a voyage to Lilliput. Now after returning from Lilliput, he again voyages towards Bromdingnag, okay, which is written in book 2. So today we are going to deal with the story of this journey. Hello friends, Gulliver's travels this story we have already started and we have completed book 1. Now we will discuss book 2. Okay, so let us start. When Gulliver had come back from Lilliput and Blefusco, he became so restless. Okay, after a period of 10 months, he became so restless and he again wanted to voyage. So therefore, what he did, he took out his ship adventure. Okay, and with his crew members, he started moving for the journey. He set out for a journey. Now, when he started uh, in this uh, ship, okay, in the middle of the sea, he encountered lots and lots of a storm, which was at very high knots. Okay, so in the middle of the journey, their ship was deviated. Not only that, they became so thirsty, and in order to take water, they had come to a to an island. All right. Now, after getting water, only few members had come to get water and uh, Gulliver was also one of them. Now, after fetching water from this island, when they were returning back, the island's name was Bromdingnag. Okay, remember. They came here and when they were returning back, Gulliver was attracted by countryside. Okay, he went to countryside where he found huge fields, okay, cultivated fields and he became very much attracted to that and he was left out. Other members were going towards the ship, okay, going towards this ship. Now what happens? Gulliver sees them going back to the crew members, going back to the uh, ship. When he tries to stop, he finds that huge creatures, giant figured creatures were running after those uh, crew members. All right, therefore, he became he becomes so scared and stops there in this island. Now, what happens? Let us see. This was island, okay, which was inhabited by a race of giants. Okay, they were huge people. Their physic was very huge. All right. Now, Gulliver was found by farm worker. Gulliver was in the countryside. He was uh, looking at the crops, okay, cultivated crops. Uh, um, fields okay he was enjoying there and suddenly he was found by farm worker he was walking and Gulliver found that he was very tiny in front of them okay these giant figured people were the residents of Bromdingnag all right in front of them all right Gulliver was very small it was just like the case of the land of Lilliput okay Lilliputians were very small in front of Gulliver here Gulliver was tiny, okay, in front of these residents of Bromdingnag. Now what happens? This farm worker was about to step upon Gulliver. He cries very loudly and somehow he was saved by this farm worker. He puts him inside his pocket and he thinks that he will give it to his master, right? Now they deliver him to farm owner. This farm owner had... Lots of workers and one of the workers found Gulliver and he gave him to the owner. Now, this owner takes him to his house and uh, everybody enjoys like his wife. Uh, initially, his wife becomes so bit scared. Okay, his, uh, she finds it very weird and unusual. But after that, the boys, okay, tries to scare Gulliver, he irritates Gulliver, alright, but later on everything becomes a bit uh, habit. They, were, they become very habituated, alright. Now he had become the talk of the town. Gulliver, tiny Gulliver had become the talk of the town and farm owner uh, thought that he can be a uh, money fetcher for them. Okay, therefore he exhibits Gulliver for money in front of countrymen. Okay, Gulliver had to act, okay, he had to perform uh, so that this farm owner can earn money. Now, 
farmer's young daughter Glumdan Klitsch takes utter care of this tiny Gulliver. Okay, she considers this Gulliver as a doll and she keeps him in the in her cupboard very safely so that he will be saved from rats. Okay. Now, his story, Gulliver, Tiny Gulliver's uh, performance reaches to the royal court as well. Okay. Now, Queen wants to see Gulliver's performance. After seeing Gulliver's performance, she also becomes very much interested in him and Queen buys Gulliver. Okay. She purchases Gulliver and in the court, in the royal court, Gulliver becomes very favorite because he is, uh, you know, he learns language. Initially, he was not able to understand their language, but through gesture, he was talking with his friends. But with the help of uh, Glumden Klitsch, he becomes well-versed in their language and there was no problem. Now, he was able to communicate with anyone in the royal court. Now, he started talking about the development of England, okay, and what he can do for this new nation then he says that there are more modern development there are utter development england had achieved so many things okay and it is rich country now then um the king of blomdignac says that english must be a race of odious and vermin they must be immoral okay this means immoral people because when he talks about achievement of England, he talks about arms and ammunitions and destructions. Okay. Then, King of Blomdingnag says that they are, they might be well developed in science and technology, but not morally. Morally, English people are not upright. They give importance to material gain. Only power and money means a lot to English people. Therefore, fortunately, they are not so and they are not interested. Uh, Blomdignac's kingdom is not after power and money. That is the achievement of that nation, um, the king says. Okay, And he considers that English people are so materialistic and they run for power and money. Therefore, they can be called as odious and vermin. Okay, Gulliver offers to make gunpowder and cannon. He says that uh, England knows how to be rich okay how to gain power and it is through gunpowder and and friends we know that through industrial revolution england had become so powerful and those uh, arms and ammunitions he wanted to sell in different countries and then he, they colonized all those countries be it india be it africa or any other place okay so this was uh, their achievement according to gulliver but King of Blomdingnag reminds him that it is not an achievement but it is a flaw of humanity. Clear? Now, King becomes so scared because he had never thought about this gunpowder and cannon. He says that this is not allowed in their kingdom because it is not required only. Now, Gulliver becomes so much, uh, he spends so much, so many days and he becomes a bit frustrated out there as well because he did not have power he was powerless okay every time he had to become so scared even small children of farm owner scares him all right there was only one girl who helped uh, Gulliver and that was daughter of farm owner okay so somehow he was spending time but he was not happy because he had become powerless clear now fortunately this small tiny Gulliver was picked up he was packed in a box okay so he was picked up by an eagle now this eagle when he picked up he thought that this is something you know which he can uh, eat which it can eat but when it found that it was not edible then eagle throws the box um, in the sea all right in which in that box gulliver was locked clear now he was thrown in the sea and fortunately one of the ship finds this box in which Gulliver was uh, locked okay and he was rescued and he was rescued now by people of his own size that means he was 
he got the rescue service from people of his own size and then he was back to his country okay so this is the story which is mentioned in part 2